the past couple of months have not already been very rough for the country music community with the passing of stars such as Kenny Rogers, Joe Diffie, and Jan Howard. Now today, we again have unfortunate news to report, and that is former vocalist for the Oak Ridge Boys, Gary McSpadden, has passed away on April 15th at the age of 77 years old. And looking back at McSpadden's long and lustrous career throughout gospel and country music, he was part of the Statesman Quartet. He then joined the Oak Ridge Boys soon after they had changed their name from the Oak Ridge Quartet. He then joined the Imperials, the Bill Gaither Trio, the Gaither Vocal Band, and then finally finishing out with a long and outstanding solo career of many years. McSpadden not only wrote and produced several gospel hits such as Jesus Lord to Me and No Other Name But Jesus, he was also part of television where he had a series called Jubilee Series, which that was filmed out of Branson, Missouri. Branson, Missouri was also a very big part of Gary McSpadden's life. Not only did he run Faith and Wisdom Church with his wife Carol, he was also featured in several concerts in the area. McSpadden was also a member of the Gospel Music Association Hall of Fame. Gary's wife, Carol, shared a message about his passing today to their church's Facebook, Faith and Wisdom Church. She wrote, as most of you know, Gary and I have been in Tulsa at the Cancer Treatment Center of America. Gary has been battling cancer along with other complications over the last several weeks. This has been a quick and difficult journey we have been on. We knew this week that God had a plan and his healing would be here on earth or in heaven. As of 8.40 a.m., Pastor passed peacefully surrounded by his family into the arms of God. 2 Timothy 4.7 says, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course and I have kept the faith. Pastor Gary fought hard, finished the race, and was an unbelievable man of faith. I would like to thank all the Faith and Wisdom Church family and all the many friends who have prayed with us during this time. Due to extenuating circumstances with COVID-19, we are working on plans for a celebration of life at a later date. We will be communicating those plans as they develop. Love and thank you, Carol. That rich, soft sound that Gary had will definitely live on in the hearts of fans forever and he will truly be missed. Our prayers and hearts go out to Gary's family, his wife Carol, during this difficult, difficult time. Guys, that will be it for today's video. If you are new here, hit the subscribe button down below. Turn those notifications on uh, so you don't miss out on breaking updates on your favorite country artist and all the news coming right out of Music City. Y'all stay country.